Welcome Mixers! This tutorial will show you how to create a personalized 50 by 60 inch throw. You will want to start with either a portrait or a landscape layout. In this layout I have used the Give Thanks paper pack from Designs by Krista. This is the Paisley and the Stripes. And then I have used the Memory Mixer Specialty Fonts Spiral Notes to create this piece. Now when you're creating a throw, the dimensions are a little different than the standard size. So we have a few tips that will help you to keep your elements in the live area or the print area of the throw. So first, when you're designing, you should keep in mind that you'll be trimming off about 3 eighths of an inch from the top and the bottom if you're doing a portrait or the sides if you're doing landscape. So those two areas will actually be trimmed off completely in the manufacturing process. You want to make sure you still fill those areas, but they will be trimmed. And then there is a live area that you want to make sure everything is with inside. To create these guides, we're just going to add a few shapes. So I'm going to come here to my shape, and I'm going to add a square and rectangle. And I want to bring it up here just to the corner. I will stretch it across my whole page and then I'm going to make it 3 eighths of an inch tall. So you can see that is how much will be trimmed off the top. And then I'm going to change the opacity of that because I want to be able to see my design through just to make sure. I am going to copy and paste that and I will now drag it to the bottom so I know the area, the trim area on the bottom. So I can look here and I'm like, that might be a little short. I might scoot everything up if I want. Add another shape. We'll come up here to shapes. Grab another rectangle. We'll place it in the corner of our layout. The dimensions for this shape is 9 and an 8. And you can see the dimensions here along the edge in the rulers. And then I'm going to make it 7 and a quarter. And now I'll use my align button and I'll center it vertically on the page and I'll center it horizontally on the page. This will create even spacing around your throw once the edges are trimmed. The next thing you'll do is just change the opacity so you can see through this shape and make sure everything looks the way you want to. And then just make sure you delete your shapes once everything is positioned as you would like. Now in the manufacturing process of the throws this area will be printed, but there may be some variations. Everything within this box here is within the safe zone. So you can see it's very easy to create your throw. These little shapes that you can add will just be a double check for you to make sure everything will be within the safe area. And once you've decided it's okay, you'll just select those and delete them. and then you will go to Share Album. You're going to Export to JPEG. Say OK, and you're going to do it to the high resolution. So we'll just select, this is the one we're working on. So we'll select that one and make sure you export it as the large image. And then you'll save your file. To order your throw, you'll go to MemoryMixer.com and then visit our Memory Mixer Output Center. The throws will be available beginning Monday, November 22nd. In the meantime, you can go to our blog and order directly from there. In case you aren't familiar, to turn your rulers on, you can simply use this shortcut found along the top tool drawer and just simply click it on and off. Thanks for stopping by and happy mixing!